really, really close. It's quite close. Now I'm going to draw my outside line again because that's where it ends up cutting to. Eventually. Not, not any time real quick, but that's where it'll go to. Now I'm going to fasten this thing temporarily to the wood. And I'm going to see if it fits the profile of the bottom of the barrels and locks in right here. To do that, I have two two mounting holes and the, the back the front one is a machine screw that goes to uh, the other side it comes out on this side and touches another piece of metal that cuts in here. The back mounting hole is a wood screw. And I can put that one in and if it's in the wrong place, I can fill the hole and re-drill it. That's not, that's not the end of the world. That's not that hard to do. So um, that's what I'm going to do is go ahead and put that, that rear wood screw in there. That one. Actually, I've changed my mind on this. I'm, going to put a, I'm not going to put this wood screw in. This is the one that eventually goes there. I'm going to put a lot smaller one. Just a little bitty thing. So, if it's not the right size, I can just drill a bigger hole and put this one in. But this one here is just a whole lot smaller diameter and length. And it'll still hold it, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, see it? It fits well enough to hang in there and hold it. That's all I need for it to do is just, just hold it there where I can snap it on the barrels. That hole might be a little small. Or not. Not tight yet. I think I'm going to take it out. Put a little drop of wax on them threads. And run it back in there. I don't want to break that thing off in there. I've, I've done that before. I don't really like it. If you've got a tight thread, Put just a little drop of paraffin wax on it and run it in one time and back out and put some wax on it. It'll really, 
it'll slide in there a lot easier the second time. The metal's in contact with where it goes. It looks like it fits well enough. It looks like to me. I'm ready to put the bottom metal, the release lever. I'm ready to put it on, I think. It shouldn't need much more than just a little tiny bit of tweaking. But the bottom metal contacts, it's kind of hard to see, but you see that little, little bitty gap right there? This metal contacts this metal and it forms a hole where the barrel pivots. And if that is, that is really close contact. So I think I can go ahead and mill out for my release lever. Which looks like that. What helps me as much as having the pattern to go by is the fact that this hole, this front screw hole, on the top lines up with the machine screw that is the back hole of the lever on the bottom. So they connect like so and these two holes are the same hole. The one here and the one down here are the same hole. So all I got to do is set my mill up perpendicular to this drill a hole straight down of the right size and that lines up my bottom metal and that's that's a real plus to be able to line that up that easily and that screw point one six two and it's centered right there I wonder if I can drill it with this metal in place and not mess up that hole uh, I don't think so. Now to find out how how tall this thing is from top to bottom I can look at this when this screw is bottomed out it's smooth flush with this surface so I can put this top metal in set that screw in there and look and see how far below that surface it is and know how to how much to mill off of that Well, I got to take off uh, 0.213 from this surface down to that screw is 0.213. So, if I take off a little less than that, just to ease into it, would be good. And there again, that's also on a taper. See, it's thicker back here than it is right there. So I gotta approach this thing really carefully. Well, it looks like that's about right, but it's a scary thing. There's no do-overs when it comes to stuff like this. I'm gonna take about a sixteenth less than that 213 and just cut that off with a bandsaw to start with. You can see where that screw head is. See it's just a little bit like a 32nd below that. I'm going to do a rough sketch from this hole that I've got drilled. And it's really hard to sight down through a small hole and see a big hole. But I think I'm pretty close right there. I've got my points of this escutcheon in line with my center line should be ending up about right there.
awfully hard to hold that thing still. It just wants to rock and slip and slide everywhere. It only goes so, so deep until right here and then it punches all the way through. From here to here it punches through. And it only goes about that wide.